I mean, when those cops in that boat pulled up to me, sticking their chest out and bugging their eyes out, I sort of, you know, just doing it back to them. And then they had to laugh and see how stupid they were and pull on around laughing. But that's, they're told, go out and dominate our food. Let the American people know they are our slaves. Go ahead. Yeah. One more thing, I guess, but then I'll let you go because you got other calls. You know, when you go to vote, if you vote for the lesser of two evils, you're still getting evil. I hear you, brother. Great points. I appreciate you calling in, Larry. Let's talk to Carl in Washington. You're on the air. Hey, Alex. Hey, brother. Can you hear? Yep. Um, I had a, just a couple things I wanted to touch on was uh, you were talking about reaching people in uh, other countries and everything. I've been following the Bundy thing on their webpage, and they're getting they're getting tons of people from all kinds of countries, and they were live that uh, at their uh, celebration thing that night also. Uh, a lot of people are interested in what's going on here. Uh, That's right. I mean, this thing's perfect. People are celebrating defeat of the tyrants. They're celebrating liberty. They're celebrating walking towards the guns. This is courage. This is honor. This is just uh, the people barely pushing back after bending over to everything. And the statists are pulling their hair out as they sit on top of plunging ratings. Yeah. Um, I had a question for you. Maybe you could answer for me. I'm, I put together a, a video. I'm I'm a Alaskan Indian, but um, I got this brilliant idea that if you could get the uh, tribes to activate that uh, in a situation like Bundy's where they needed uh, uh, people, that the tribes could make these calls to other tribes and they could activate several thousand people in a real short order of time. But what I'm running into, I'm, I used uh, one of your Russell means uh videos part of it um uh, but i'm running into a lot of tribes don't seem to think they're involved and my question i guess to you is if these guys get lucky and and do take over martial law or whatever how will that affect uh people like the Indian nations and stuff. Will, will well, they'll screw, I, I mean, they'll listen, the, listen, the British developed concentration camps, that term, look it up, folks, in the 17 and, 16, 17 and 1800s, they used them all over, again, in Africa, in England, in Scotland, uh, and in Europe, and then over here in North America. So the reservation was really a concentration camp developed by the British to break a general population uh, so they wouldn't say they were morally killing the women and children. They would just put you behind fences till you starved to death. And those were used in the Civil War by both sides against each other uh, as well. But the British wrote the book on concentration camps. And so what Russell Means says in that great video titled, you know, we're all on the reservation now, I think's the title, is that regardless of the wrongs done against Native Americans, nobody can debate that. The new fake liberals and others act like they speak for the natives. The point is the very same screw jobs that were brought down on the Native Americans and are still being brought down on them is now going to be visited on everyone. Everything you see that's been done to the natives is what's being done to everyone else. It's what Agenda 21 is, putting us in small areas. Make, look, sharecroppers. It goes back to the Romans. How do you keep people on the land and, and in debt if they're not actually a slave? Uh, uh, well, uh, they had Romans that became sharecroppers about 2,000 years ago. So the Roman practice of sharecropping is still alive in America today. There's a sharecropping ranch right next to our ranch that's been there for 160 years. And it's the same family running it. The same family running it. So I hope that answers your question, sir. We're all sharecroppers. We're all Native Americans. We are all going to be treated just like black people were. The tyrants will do it to whatever group they can get away with it. So if they can beat the Indians, they'll do it. If they can get blacks and get folks convinced that they don't have the same rights, they'll do it to them. Or if they can bring drugs in and then people are dumb enough to use them, oh, well, if you use drugs, we can take your house. See, they, they always bring in some excuse. Oh, the Bible says blacks are cursed, so they deserve to be slaves. Uh, you know, the Bible doesn't say that. But it's always some excuse. Or, or the, you know, the natives are savages, so they deserve to have their land taken. It's always the same story. The only difference is with Manifest Destiny is that there were a lot of other complex factors and they weren't trying 
to exterminate everyone. They just wanted to exterminate the natives, and that was bad enough. Now the globalists want to exterminate everyone because they've stolen the world. We'll be right back. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. I hear the train. The reason I start gibbering and sputtering and getting upset is it's it's hard to come in here three, four hours a day and really get aggressive with these people. And when I'm looking at all the screw jobs, I get mad. I mean, come on, wake up out of your comfort zone. Wake up. Get out of your normalcy bias. We told you more than 15 years ago that governments are manipulating the weather with lasers. Daily Mail off a U.S. government report, the laser that can make it rain, researchers unveil radical system to start storms and create lightning on command. Here's another report. Scientists edit DNA to, uh, to correct adult genes and cure diseases. Soon they're going to say under socialist health care, your embryo has to be approved. Then they'll do social engineering. That's the plan, Brave New World. 
study fuels from corn causing more waste and global warming. I don't even believe that, but they are wasteful and really bad. They're meant to starve people. That's job number one. So that's just some of the news on that front. Uh, China and uh, Japan are really getting into fights. China court impounds Japanese ship. It an unprecedented move for ships the Japanese impounded in 1937. So tit for tat is really uh, heating up. China wants to flex its muscles uh, right now. Let's jam in some more phone calls ahead of Jakari Jackson's special report on the Boston bombing, the true story of the Boston bombing. We played the first four minutes yesterday, a 16-minute segment's coming up in the next segment. Then David Knight is going to tie the Bundy Ranch into all the other farmers and ranchers and fisheries being shut down all over the United States. So only the globalists can operate. True feudalism. Let's talk to Mark in California. Thanks for holding here on the air. Yeah, three things. I want you to embellish the judge that ruled that this uh, was a conspiracy, conspir uh, criminal conspiracy by China to take away the ranchers' lands. And then also for the listeners to go to their city councils. I sat for uh, four hours in front of mine in, the, in San Jose, uh, and Chuck Reed uh, only gave me a minute. But I brought a sign down there several times that says, Google John DeCamp, Alex Jones, the Franklin cover-up. And uh, then uh, uh, another thing is that the city council, as I was talking to in San Jose to the various uh, citizens uh, about various issues, the, the policeman told me to sit down and shut up. So I did. But when I got up, I mentioned that that policeman told me to sit down and to shut up for Mark Trout to sit down and shut up his exact words. And Oh, you know, yeah, everywhere they're right. telling people they can't even have their three minutes of communication because job number one is to keep the scum down, get ready to collapse the dollar and steal the pension funds, and they got to teach you not to be uppity when that happens. Yeah. Now, this was a judge that ruled this conspiracy conspiracy. Uh, criminal conspiracy with Red China, correct? No, no, no. listen, I appreciate your call. No, last year... In Nevada, Federal Judge Jones, there's an article up at Infowars.com, ruled the BLM for the last 20 years was in a criminal conspiracy to bankrupt the ranchers of the state to take their land. Okay, Federal Judge BLM engaged in a criminal conspiracy against ranchers. That's about the BLM. It doesn't deal with the Bundy case, even though he was part of the overall situation. What proves China's involved is the BLM documents. All right, he called from, I forget which affiliate. I should plug these stations that was the one out in Santa Cruz. Uh, let's talk to uh, Mike in Illinois, listening on 1420 AM WLUV. And uh, Mike, you're on the air from Illinois. Go ahead, sir. Hey, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. Thanks for calling. Well, here's a couple things. <clears throat> you know, I listen to you every day as often as I can. Um, it almost seems like uh, you're being optimistic about, you know, like what we can do because it seems like, you know, like that BLM, BLM standoff in Nevada, I mean, that could have ended totally different, you know, and then what? Well, you know, yeah. then they shoot a bunch of innocent people, and we have the big victory um, for having the courage in the start of the new physical civil war. We're already being attacked. I don't want a physical civil war. I want freedom for those BLM people and everybody else. The government's out of control. No one can deny it. A lot of people are scared now and realize how real this is. So they've decided to join with the government and say any civil disobedience is terrorism. Well, I don't agree with that. And I didn't want violence to happen. But when you got the feds threatening to shoot people, the fact that some folks were there and had guns, that's what the Second Amendment's for. And so we're not the ones engaging in the violence. We don't want this to happen. And believe me, the feds are freaked out right now. They thought everybody would turn back being threatened to be shot. They weren't. And that's a lesson for them. We're going to make the French resistance look like a literal cakewalk, okay? And, and it doesn't matter how many lemmings they've got going along with it. I don't want it to go to that. I want to fix things. The globalists want to have a civil war. Not that they'll even win it, but it's better than them losing everything politically. Before They're cornered, my friend. They're going to pull something. And people are tired of, I mean, was Bundy supposed to go bankrupt and go climb a ditch? What do you think? Well, I think the whole thing was BS. I mean, it's I agree. ridiculous. I mean, you're talking about, you know, people that have had deeds to their property for 80 years, and, you know, they're just coming and saying, hey, it's not yours anymore. And how the hell is Harry Reid? Are people stupid? How is Harry Reid not drug out by his hair?
I don't well, they got electronic it. voting machines in Vegas. I mean, everything's gang there, like the casinos. I mean, it's all like a fake We're casino. We're on the march. David Knight's coming the up.